okay abhishek so let's start with the snap of strength of material right yes sir okay great now uh, in strength of material i want to ask you yeah you know, there is a term called uh, strength you know yes sir yes sir so how that is different from the term stress yeah actually uh, strength uh, can it's a property of a material so it states that how a material can withstand the stress induced on it without being failure so it can be defined as strength so other than stress is called as uh, load operate or internal resistance produced when the load operate per unit area this is the thing okay what is the relation between stress and strain stress and strain mm -hmm. so uh, stress as i said uh, it's a internal resistance produced per unit area so when the, a load is applied on our body it tends to de uh, deform so that deformation uh, per unit length is measured using by strain sir mm -hmm. okay uh, which comes first stress or strain stress sir stress comes first huh? yes sir so in the stress strain diagram where do yes, you sir. plot stress on x axis or y axis so in a stress strain we put stress on y axis sir so but if stress comes first it should be drawn on x axis no yeah but uh, regarding to the stress only strain will be getting developed sir. so uh, we just uh, we uh, at the end we are just calculating we need to uh, find what are the uh, what is the displacement of the material uh, this kind of so we are plotting uh, we are plotting a stress strain on x axis compared with uh, stress on y axis sir acha can you give me some example where there is no strain but still there is a stress uh you can tell in a uh, uh uh no strain and then there is a stress uh might be in hyper elastic materials no. if i'm not uh, uh sorry sir no idea i guess what about thermal stresses thermal stress so if a uh, per body is uh, changes uh, changes its shape and regarding to the temperature applied to it so that's called a temperature stress. so if i'm for example if there is a rod and i'm applying thermal stress on it it tends to be uh, elongation due to the overheat or it tends to compression due, due to its cooling so this kind of changes due to the temp applied temperature but then there is no deformation during thermal when thermal stress is there right yes is sir. there any no. deformation yes sir deform actually it can't say uh, there will be some deformation in shape of the materials sir. okay tell me something about bending stresses so, sorry bending stresses so yeah uh, if load acting on a beam in a perp and uh, towards perpendicular so the board uh, so, sorry the so the beam tends to be bent so that's called as bending stress right okay if uh, if i uh, uh, let's say if i give you uh, uh, one uh, bending uh, uh, beam which is sub supposed to some kind of shear loading okay can you write the bending equation for that uh, bending equation uh, sorry so so m by i equal to uh, that yeah can write the bending equation just the means uh so it no sorry i so oh, yeah it's uh, m by i equal to uh, sigma by y equal to e by r okay and what are the assumptions behind this bending equation so uh so the bending uh, sorry for a sim for a beam sorry uh, so no, sorry sir, i don't i don't know exactly you know the okay concept. can you tell the nature of these bending stresses nature means i didn't get it what okay. kind of stresses these bending stresses are right. compressive so, tensile shear stress normal so stress it, direct uh, stress so, so it uh, when the load acts on, so the load acts on the uh for example if uh, uh, there is a cantilever beam and and load acts on the giving the point load at the end so the top portion of the beam will experience uh, tensions and the lower part will be experiencing compressive stress okay. do you know something about uh, section modulus section modulus no sir i over y max no sir i didn't i have it okay 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 do you know what is axial rigidity axial rigidity axial rigidity so I, i didn't get in that deeper in that okay uh, any any idea about the uh, difference between elasticity and rigidity and stiffness what these terms are so elasticity uh, it's uh, ability of material to regain its uh, original position when a load is applied sir so stiffness can be defined as an ability of a material 
to uh, withstand stress induced without being deformation sir so what is another question was how do you measure the stiffness of the body uh, stiffness i uh, can measure by uh, suppose i give you a rod okay. i give a steel rod okay of particular dimension so okay. how do you measure its stiffness so density of the rod by uh, length of its sorry density by its length density yeah that is not stiffness okay i give you a spring mass system how do you measure the stiffness of a spring so i go define uh, by uh, so, uh, no a load applied to the deformation so i don't apply to load applied uh, to its uh, stiffness sir load over yes, thickness yes sir so similarly steel rod may find out the stiffness how do you do the stiffness load over can't you find load over deformation in steel rod area of the rod is a length is yes, l sir. modulus yeah. of velocity is v a e by l yes 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 sir. how much is the stiffness uh as can be so yes sir, that's what a area and then small a a e by l i guess a e by l yes, yes that sir. is the stiffness yes load per unit deformation yes sir. and e a part is the axial rigidity yes sir so uh, do you know what is stress strain diagram yes sir what is the slope of that slope called called as angst modulus or hooks uh, angst modulus or hooks can be a hooks elasticity sir. right yes sir stress is directly proportional to strain okay can you draw the stress strain diagram for copper and rubber copper and rubber rubber uh, rubber yes sir yes sir can you see so the first this one is, is cop copper and second is rubber first one is not copper that is mild steel yeah for me uh yes Cop this is it. copper yes, may do you think a lower yield point upper yield point will come so this is this is it. so copper and now in rubber can you find out where is the yield point a uh, yield point so uh, so rubber is a hyperelastic material so it's based on uh, yield can be uh, defined by the strain rate i guess sir. strain rate huh? yes sir what is strain. that so uh, since it's a hyperelastic material so uh, rubber uh, can be defined by the rate of strain so if i'm giving a stress for that uh, uh, depending upon the stress uh, that there will be different strain rate for the hyperelastic material so based on that we can define the yield points You do you know something about shear force and bending moment diagram? Yes, sir. Actually, ah, uh, shear force and ah, uh, actually, ah, uh, so bending moment. Okay, if I give a bending moment diagram as a rectangle. Okay. What is the shear force? Ah, uh, the formula is this. So I didn't, I didn't get in the deep. so if i give a rectangle as a bending moment diagram can you find the shear force yes sir so actually uh, so based on the type of load acting on it we can find that shear force bending so what bending. is the slope of a shear force the bending moment diagram that is shear force right yes sir so what is the slope of rectangle slope of rectangle i don't know sir okay so so let me give you feedback abhishek Yeah, Abhishek, you need to revise strength of yes, material. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, again, I'll advise you to go through that marathon video. Yes, sir. Four or five times. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Because one time you may not get it right. Yes. All these questions were asked from that seven hours video only. Yeah, okay. That is I there mean, on marathon, YouTube. So marathon video is uh yeah you uh yeah yeah I seen the YouTube video. You done seven hours video. Yes, sir. Strength of material marathon video seven hours. Yes, yes, sir. Listen to this three four times. Yes, sir. and uh, all the questions uh, you will summarize the strength of material to that okay, okay, so sir. just do that and next week again give for uh, when is your actual interview so as soon as not exactly the day, uh, completed all three rounds since so, you uh, only final was remaining so they have anyway, then then the revise it well and yeah. next week again go for uh, yes sir. Right? sure sir. yes sir. so sure. again as some more so this uh, stress strain difference and stiffness and all these basic terms which i asked you they yeah. all are in that uh, marathon video of seven yes, hours sir. just yes, divide that yes sure and abhishek yes sir sure sir thank you